thank you for stopping by and checking out this video and today's video is a palette bingo Woo! we are joined by my lovely dog abby abby say hi to the camera she doesn't want to say hi um I'm in my living room again, mainly because I didn't want to clean up my bedroom background to <laughs> film today. It's been a hard week, so I'm just happy I'm filming. So we, if, sorry, it might be one of those videos. What isn't it though, really, right? Okay, so today we're doing a palette bingo. For April, it was, um... Erica's turn, I can't remember whose turn it was, Erica's turn to uh, choose a palette and she chose um, Natasha Denona's Zendo. Sorry, this is very reflective. Let me just open it. This is just came out of the box and it already has fingerprints all over it. So there's our, turn that down a bit, maybe that'll help. I'm like how, there we go. I'll do that. Hopefully you can see that without so much ring light. There's a lot of different colors in here. I'm hoping for all the peaches. Even though I love blue, not blue, but greens. Um, like these are blue greens. I want peaches because I'm wearing a corally peach shirt today. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going anywhere. I am filming more after this. So that's our palette today. Um, we have some people joining us. I'm not sure if everybody is still planning to do this because we haven't been very chatty. I think it's been a rough month for everybody. Um, March has been a rough month. Today's only the first. Wait, is it the first or the second? It's the second today. I, I missed a whole day yesterday. Seriously. I was right there the whole day. Not moving. Gotta love chronic pain. It always ruins your plans. Anyways, so the people who are joining us are, as always, Erica Ashley, because we are the, the ones that are doing this. She's my, she's my uh, partner in crime, <laughs> like truly. <laughs> and we do these every month together and take turns uh, with what palette, like who's going to choose the palette. We have DW from Dub's Beauty Diaries joining us. We have Jennifer from Gen B underscore beauty. Or is it Gen B underscore Gen Beauty? It'll be in the description. It's Jennifer, and we love her. So make sure you check her out. And then for the first time, we have Nikki Pearson joining us. And I'm super excited that you joined us, Nikki. I can't wait to see your look. Um, I'm not sure if DW is still doing this. Uh, she's got some stuff going on and if you want to know what's going on go check her Instagram congratulations um, and Jen hasn't said anything but usually she would let us know if she's not doing it so I think she's still doing it even if they don't do it I'm going to keep put all their information down below because whether they do the the palette bingo after you know they do it or don't they are amazing people and I want you to go check out their channels because if you're not already, you're missing out. They're awesome. I actually like, adore these people, so you need to go and check them out. Um, I think I'm gonna zoom you in. Oh wait, we don't have to do that yet. We need to, so unprepared. I need to draw, okay, so in palette bingos, if you haven't seen them before, and there will be a playlist down below as well, because. This has been um, Erica and Mai's new thing that we just love them so much and they're helping us go through our palettes a little quicker because we both have way too many eyeshadow palettes that we have yet to use most of them. So I know for the, for me and Erica, this is the first time we're using this baby. Um, with Palette Bingo, I need a pen. <laughs> we randomly select five shades and those five shades whether they are cohesive or not we have to create a look that is actually a good look doesn't always happen <laughs> sometimes it's just a hot mess and that's the beauty of it all so let's see how many are in this does it say no oh, i have to count okay 15 right yeah 15 shades that's not bad all right, let me get my app up. Oh, and let's just pretend that this hair is a good hair day. 
we're pretending. <laughs> Let's see. I feel so out of, you know, like I feel like I haven't been filming in so long that I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm sitting on a heating pad because my hips and, well, my hip on the right has been really nagging pain for the last week. And then my sciatic pain on the left. Good times. Do you know how fun it is to walk? All right. So we've got, oh, let me make sure I clear history. Clear history. There we go. Prevent rerolls. So we've got one through 15. Let's see what we get. We need five. 15, 12. Did I hit it? 14. Come on. 13. I think I have one more. Well, this is boring. Six. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I hate when they're all in a row. <laughs> I want it like a good mixture of the whole palette, but all right. I'm going to swatch all these shades and then let you know what I have. Mm. Okay. I don't know how I feel. I have one matte, one satin, and then three shimmers. Let's see if you can see those. So what we got, I didn't really do this in a good order. This is Aura number six. And then this is number 12. Wait, no. Did I do this right? Six, yes. Oh, this is number 13, which is Calm. And then 14 is Yama. Yeah, and that is so pretty. Wait, no. Yeah. Yay, nay. Oh my God, I should have done this in order. Okay, I'm just going to show you what I got. We got Calm. We got... I don't know. I am a hot mess. Let me tell you. Retry this. Let's retry this. Let's write these down. Okay, I figured it out. I had to write it out to know what I was doing. Basically, the whole bottom row except for this guy. And then this one. So those are all the colors I have. And now I got to figure out. Well, we already know we're going to use Zell, the the matte brown as an outer corner deepening shade maybe maybe he just might be out. i don't know we'll figure it out i'm pretty sure i'm going to use calm it's a satin i don't mind using satins as a transition we're going to use that as a transition the problem is i don't know i think i'm gonna do um Aura all over my lid with Yama tapped in the center because it's got a pretty gold, uh, it's got like green, gold, and peach in it. And I think that might make it really pretty. It'd probably be really pretty as a inner corner too, but. And I'm going to use the Tranquil on the lower lash. And then I don't know if I'm going to use this as a deepener or on the lower lash. I'm just going to go with the flow. Let's see what happens. I'm going to zoom you in. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, no. Notebook's falling apart. I did wash some eye brushes. Let's take these big guys out for right now so I can just find my eye brushes. Well, I didn't get as bad of a color story as I was expecting. I was like, oh, I'm going to get a blue. I'm going to get a red. <laughs> Things I'm not used to using. All right. Let's see. We're going to do calm in the inner. I mean, as a crease. I might put it all over my lid, too. What do I want to use? A big fluffy brush or no? Ah, we're just going to go. Oh, let me put my eye primer on. I'm so, I'm so bad at it. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. And I got my glitter glue out too. So hopefully I'll remember to use it. Nope, that's not it. Okay, 
I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion. Um, I'm having to squeeze it out to get it on the doe foot for some reason. Like, it's getting really thick, which is a bummer because I really have a lot left. Okay. It's getting all goopy. You see that? Just in case I want to go that far out. Might have used a little too much. <laughs> Not surprising. So there hasn't been a lot going on in my life right now. Other than a whole lot of work. Work has gotten pretty, like it hasn't slowed down at all since the last time I've talked to you guys. It's very sticky. All right, I'm going to set that down. Found it. I'm just going to use the number seven. I'm just going to do this part of my eye. I'll leave the lid tacky because I'm mainly going to be putting shimmery shades on that. Oh, and the only thing I have on my face is my foundation, which is the foundation I have in my Project 5 Uses. And that is my... Um, stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. It's, it's actually lighter than what I am, but I know if I go up in the next uh, color, it's going to be too dark or too pink. And so it's like, ah, I can go with lighter. It's fine. I'm used to it. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, now we can get to business. I'm going to take my Mickey Mouse Morphe. MM5. Look how cute this is. Let me see if I can. How cute is that? Focus. It's got, I think, Mickey, Donald. Who does it have? Daisy, Mickey, uh, Daisy, Minnie, Mickey, and who in the hell knows? I cannot tell what that is. Can you tell what this guy is? Is it a character or no? Anyways, I'm using this little fluffy brush. Going into Calm. Lightly. Maybe not too lightly. So yeah, all that's been going on in my life is work and then I think my stress of my work is getting my my body flaring up and also sitting too long. So sitting and standing is not my friend right now. So I just laid on the couch all day yesterday. I binge watched um, MTV's The Challenge All Stars all three seasons. I binged all three seasons. <laughs> And I'm going to blame that on Maddie Lou because she was doing her get ready, ready with me and get to know me, get ready with me. And she was talking about how her favorite, one of her favorite shows is The Challenge. And I'm like, oh man, I haven't watched that in two years. I used to be faithful. I'm getting hot. Sitting on a heating pad, man. But it's better to have the heat than not. Um... And I don't know if the All-Star Challenge is actually on regular TV or whatever. Because it seemed to be only on Paramount because there was a lot of cursing. And usually they bleep that out. So I was like, this is awesome. I'm so glad I have Paramount as a, a streaming. Should I go all over the lid or just stick with the transition? I kind of want this deeper. Let's get up here. So I loved the first season. The second season was okay, and then the third season was good, but there were some people that I wasn't happy to see back on the challenge. So, I am not a Beth fan. I don't care if she's changed. She still seems dirty. She's trying to start rumors about people that are not true, and that's just mean. I'm like, you are a grown effing woman. You have children. You are married. Why are you acting like you're straight out of high school with the 
crazy rumors trying to stir up shit and then there were some that I'm like one minute they're like the, the sweetest people and the next minute they're just dirty I'm like mm -mm. stay true to yourself man money is not worth I don't care $500,000 I am not gonna backstab somebody and ruin my own values and integrity over that shit nope I would never I would love to go on a challenge one, my body wouldn't handle it now, but in my 20s, I think I could have done it. But I would have never been able to do the eating challenges. I'm like, nope, I quit. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> I know I got this far, but nope, I'm not eating that nasty stuff. Are any of you guys fans of the MTV challenges? Like the back in the day ones or the newer ones? I, I'm still like a fan of the OGs. Like, I love Johnny Bananas. I don't care if people hate him. I love him. He cracks me up. You know, I, you all have to remember that sometimes their personalities are just for that show, not really how they are in real life, so. And I like Kara, and I hear she's going to be on the fourth one, All Stars, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm still waiting for Daryl to win a freaking fina uh, final again after all these years. He deserves it. I want Derek to get, get a win um, I don't really, I don't love most of the women because they get catty and I am not a catty person. Mainly because I was a tomboy most of my life. So I was always like hanging with the boys rather than girls. So I think I just don't have that mentality. Ooh, we might have to turn off this heating pad with the lights on. Ooh. All right, I think I like... And these aren't, aren't skipping or anything, and I'm shocked because my skin is really dry right now. So we're going to, what did I think I was going to do? We put that in the crease. Should we deepen them? I'm going to try deepening it out with the brown. I just feel like it's not going to go. Hmm, what should I use? I'll use this guy. It's another Disney one. Still can't tell who that is. I'm going to use this kind of a brush for my outer V. I'm going to go lightly though. I think uh, the challenge is the only reality TV I like. I mean, other than like Dancing with the Stars and I'm getting into American Idol again. Anybody watching that? I only usually watch the, man, I don't like how this is going on. I usually only watch the auditions and then I bounce because I get tired of all the whining and all that. But I think they got some good people this year. This is not going how I want it. I'll be here blending a while. I don't like you. Try this guy. This might be too big though. Let's try this guy. Let me just bounce into the calm. Um, what else? So yeah, I've been watching American Idol. I don't watch The Voice anymore. I just get tired of the judges. And I know the judges have changed, but I'm just not into it anymore. I dipped a little more into the brown to see if I can get this to blend better because it's really patchy now. I guess I talked too soon. Oh, and I didn't set my lid, so that might be the problem. It's always me. It's always your user error. I haven't watched Dancing with the Stars since they've gone to Disney Plus, so I've been missing out on that just because I forget. <laughs> um really the only ones I've been watching and I had I didn't watch last season of so you think you can dance I love dance I can't dance myself I mean I can dance like normal people like move to the groove <laughs> but I can't dance like them and I've always I went to 
like a couple dance classes when I was young. But I was very shy. Like I didn't want to be there because I didn't like being in a room. And you know, kids were even assholes back then. Like I went when I was only five, like five and six. And I just remember the, the kids, cause I was poor. So I didn't have like a cute little outfit to dance in. I didn't have the right shoes. Um, the kids picked on me in that. And I, so I dropped out of that. I was telling my mom, I don't want to go back. And then when I got older, I took country um, dancing. I did West Coast Swing. Absolutely loved that. And I wish I could have stuck up, stayed with it. But my, my uh, life got uh, busy. And then I didn't have a dance partner because he moved on. Didn't want to, you know, he, he had other things going on in his life. And then... I would go out with my mom and her friends. I was like basically part of the gang there. I hope you haven't been looking at my head, well, the top of my head this whole time. If you have, I'm sorry. Uh, and we would go to the country bars and stuff. I mean, this is when I was like 17 and stuff. They, on Sundays, the country bars out in Denver, there's a couple that let you bring your kids with you. And like, I, the, my mom's group of friends, all their kids, we all got together every weekend. So it was like we were all one big family, and that was fun. I learned all the line dances because they would have free classes right before, um, right before they opened up for, for real. Like they would have a class going on for like you had to pay for in the back room, and then in the front they would uh, have free line dance classes. I love doing that. The boot scoot and boogie and the cha-cha. Those were my favorites. You're all probably going, what? I don't even know if there's any country fans here. Um, I love all music. I am not loving how this is going so far, guys, but we're going to trust the process as many of you always say. <laughs> trust the process. I'm doing the calm again man did i turn this off or not oh no i heated it up more i'm like whoa my ass is on fire <laughs> i turned it off now yes mommy is burning her butt <laughs> um so there's that so i've always been interested in watching dance so i would uh, any of the dance competitions i was always watching i used to go to the dance competitions to cheer on dancers in colorado the country dance uh, what was it called the country classic i used to go to that all the time every year it was so much fun and you know some of them that were competing were like our teachers that taught us at the classes like my west coast swing teachers they were married and they they performed every year in the country classic so we had to be there to cheer on our teachers I think this is as good as this is gonna get. So let's move on. Put some glitter glue on. So has anybody used the Zendo palette before? And if you have, do you enjoy this palette or do you feel it was a, a miss? I'm enjoying it so far. We'll see once I get the shimmers going and see how I feel about those. I have quite a few Natasha Denona palettes and the only one I've used the most is the Rose Quartz one because it's just my color story. I've used the Glam palette, the original, a few times. I don't know if I'm even tapping this in correctly but I haven't used my glitter glue in so long can only hope for the best. Um, let's see. Do I want to go with that color all over my lid? Yeah, we're going to do that. Which one was that? I want this guy. Aura. We're putting Aura all over my lid. I'm just going to tap it on. No fallout, so that's a win for me. Hmm. If 
even with glitter glue, it's kind of like, eh. It could be a pretty one and done. <gasps> this one is the wrong one. Go back to this one with a different finger. Kind of trying to cover up that patchy brown here. All right, let's do the other side. It's definitely prettier when I swipe than when I pat. I'm glad I'm going to put another one over it. So we're going to go into Yama, which is that, there's like three different shades. It's so pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Can you see that? I'm excited. I'm gonna pack. My battery's about to die. So we're going to do this eye real quick and then I'll go and do the other eye. Can't stop putting Yama on. I think I'm gonna go over the whole. Well, we'll go over this side. We'll leave the other side with just the aura. I think that's so pretty. I don't know if you can tell. And then we'll put a little bit of aura right here. All right. We're gonna put. Tranquil on the lower lash. Let's see if I can do this quickly. So my, I'm gonna use. Oh, I'll use that for the outer. We'll use this guy. I'll pinch. Sorry. I hope this wasn't my freaking head the whole time, the top of my head the whole time, throughout the whole video. I'm gonna put a little bit of the zeal, the brown, as a liner. And then we'll go back with Zeal. I think that's good. I'm going to go over and do the other eye. And then I'll be back. Okay, this is the finished look. I end up doing my whole face. But here are the eyes. I really like how it turned out. I just wish I didn't have to use that brown on the outer corner because it just did not blend nicely. And I still don't like it even though I topped. Maybe I should top some more. I, this side looks better than this side. But if you can see how patchy that brown is, let me put a little more of aura on that. See if it will help. It's a little better. A little better. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I had a little makeup <sighs> breakdown. <laughs> all of this in here and all out here was curdling when I was trying to, like, when I added my concealer down here. It was like all up in here was like super gummy and I'm like maybe it was the primer eye primer but with it being out here I didn't go that far out with the eye primer I probably stopped right here so I'm like well it was all right here and up in my eyebrows right here so I'm like like we're all right here I think it was my where is it my face primer that I have in my five uses this guy 
I don't usually put him, I usually just put him right here, like right there and right there. This time I did my whole face. This was supposed to be my last use, my fifth use. But then I was feeling like, wow, it probably has very little left. I wonder if I can see with the ring light. Sort of. Probably has like three applications, like full face applications. But now I'm like, I don't want to put it all over my face. I might just stick to the cheeks and nose and chin. But the thing is, is like all of this looks fine. It was just right here. Well, basically this. So, but I didn't put the eye primer up here, did I? Oh, I did. It's the eye primer. So I'm gonna toss my Urban Decay eye primer. Or maybe I should just stop using it more than on my lid. I don't know, I'll, tr I'll test it a few more times, but it is getting goopy. So I'm wondering if that was the cause. But so I had to wipe all of this part off, like all of this, all of that. And I had to re put foundation there. And it looks fine now. So that's good. So here's my full face. I'm using these babies, my Naked Skin, and I used my MAC, ah, the blush and the bronzer. Those are in my five, five uses. I used my Jaclyn, why can't I open you? Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Ice Highlighter. What else? What else? Oh, I'm using my Endless ColourPop Lip Pencil and Bound. And here's a sad story. I'm still going to use it, though. My ColourPop Bloom to Bloom. I'm wearing that over the lip thingy. It came out. It's drying up. It still smells Oh, wait. It's got a little vanilla cupcake type of a situation, but I also can smell crayon. The first sniff I did, I only smelled the vanilla. Okay, so I might want to get all the uses I can out of that right now. Um, soaked myself in my Mor Morphe setting spray. That one's almost done. And I think that was everything. I did not put any powder on the under eyes because they are looking dry as hell. The only eyeshadow that had any fallout was that um, Yama one, this guy, the duo, duo chrome one or multi chrome. I'm not really quite sure, but what do you think? Did I do a good job? I like it. I'm happy with it. I will be filming with this look for the rest of the day, so that's good. Get used to it. <laughs> well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and check out next the next bingo. And I have a whole lot of Project Pan updates coming on, as well as my low buy. I did pretty good this year, this round. I mean, I did do some shopping, but I did really good, um, in my opinion. <laughs> what else? Yeah, so we have some panning updates and a low buy update. And we already know what we're doing for the palette bingo for... May. So keep your eyes peeled on Erica Ashley and my community tab because we will probably in a couple of weeks post that. And I know many of you have the, this palette. We're actually going to do a multi palette. So that should be fun. Uh, don't forget to check out the other ladies. I can't wait to see what colors they got and what they created. And that's about it from my sleeping Abby and I, we thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.